Hey, Mom. Hey, honey. I got a question for you. Are you making any dinner tonight? I wasn't a bit. Why? Well, because Jack's on his way over and he was asking if I want anything from McDonald's. But since you're making dinner, I'll just tell him I'm okay. Okay. Why is Jack coming over? He's going to help me with my homework. Oh, I thought he only comes over on Thursdays, though. Yeah, but we have a big test in a couple weeks, so I asked if he could tutor me some extra days, and he said yeah. Oh, well in that case, why don't you tell him to not even pick up McDonald's. Tell him that I'll make something nice for both of you. Okay, cool. I'll let him know. Great. Oh, what's your boyfriend's ETA, honey? Mm, well, since he's not stopping at McDonald's now, I'd say 10 minutes, give or take. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Ten minutes. Plenty of time to freshen up. Oof. Ugh, I have to put on something nicer than this. Hey, babe. Hey. Thanks for coming over. Of course, babe. I'd be here every day if I could. Hey, Jack. How are you? Hey, Mrs. Wilson. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. It's nice to see you again. You look as handsome as always. Thanks. You look very dressed up today. Aw, this old thing? Wait, Mom, why'd you change your outfit? What? You weren't wearing that. What are you talking about, honey? Yes, I was. I just had it on under a sweater is all. Okay, well anyway, we're gonna go study, so we'll be at the balcony if you need anything. Okay, dinner will be ready in about an hour or so. I'll just call you when it's ready. Okay, sounds good, Mom, thanks. Answer this one is A. Yep. And the next one, D. And the third, A. Yeah, see, there you go. You got this down. Oh, thanks to you, babe. You do a better job teaching me this than my teacher does. Well, what can I say? The greatest minds don't always make the best teachers. Mm. Jack, I need your help with something. Can you come help me? Is she, is she calling me? Yeah, she probably just needs help getting something from the top shelf. Okay, well, I guess I'll be right back. Uh, finish the rest of those questions and I'll check them when I get back. Okay. Need my help, Mrs. Wilson? Oh, please. Call me Allie. Okay. What can I help you with, Allie? Well, I actually need your help with two things. First, will you open this jar for me? I need a big, strong man to open it for me. Uh, sure. Wow. You made that look like it was nothing. You must really work out. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. What was the second thing you needed help with? Well, I wanted to get your thoughts on this rice. How does it taste? Wow. <laughs> That's delicious. Is it? Yeah. You know, that's not the only delicious thing in this room. Okay, what does that mean? Well, what do you think it means? You know, Jack, you come here every week, and I've seen the way you look at me. Would you like a taste? A taste? Of you? Mm-hmm. I've been told I'm quite delicious. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm... Sure you are. Well, how can you be sure when you've never tried a piece of me? You have to at least try me before you give me a good review. I'm not exactly sure where you're getting at, Mrs. Wilson. It's Allie, remember? Right, um, Allie. I'm not exactly sure where you're getting at with this. Do I make you nervous, Jack? Uh, 
A little. Do you like it? A little, but I don't think this is right. No, you're right. It isn't. But sometimes, doing what's wrong can feel so right. Alex, I need you to run an errand for me. Okay, coming. Is this a test, Mrs. Wilson? I mean, Allie. I feel like this is a test. No, the only test here is the one you're helping Alex study for. Mmm, oh my god. It smells so good, Mom. What are you making? I'm making your favorite meal, but I need some gravy for the chicken. I hate to pull you from your studies, but could you run to the store and get me some? Of course. Any kind's fine? Uh, get the homestyle kind. Okay. Babe, did you want to come with me? Oh, actually, he's going to stay here and help me with the chicken. It's a two-person job. Plus, it'll give me some time to, you know, bond with your boyfriend. Okay, well, I'll be back in a bit then. Take your time, hon. Time's a ticking handsome. Are you coming? Listen, Allie, I don't think this is a good idea. Why not? Because I'm dating your daughter. I'm not looking to steal you away from her, Jack. I just want to make sure you're the right guy for her. I wouldn't want her to be with somebody who couldn't please her. She won't be gone forever. Gosh, I left my wallet inside. I gotta go back upstairs. I had to come back because I forgot my wallet and... Mom? Jack? Is that Alex? Is she back already? No, she must have forgotten something. Hurry, get up. Mom? Jack? Hey, honey, did you forget something? Yeah, I did. Why are you in bed? I thought you were gonna be making dinner. I am, I was just, I came in here to rest. Um, you know, it's exhausting making dinner, but I'm getting right back to it. Where's Jack? He went out looking for you, you didn't see him? No, I didn't. Yeah, um, he decided he wanted to go to the store with you after all, so he chased after you a few minutes after you left. You went barefoot then? Oh, I mean, I guess so. Well, maybe I'll see him on my way out then. I came back because I forgot my wallet. I'll be back in a little bit though. Okay, honey, see you soon. Oof, that was a close one. I know, a little too close. Aw, don't worry. I'm sure she didn't suspect a thing. Now. Come over here, handsome. Hello? Hey, guess what? What? You left your socks at my place. I did? Really? Yes. Why do you keep leaving your clothes here? This is like the third thing I found. Last week it was your shirt. A couple days before that it was your sweats. And now it's your socks. Are you sure those are even mine? Yes, they're definitely yours. What I want to know is, why in the world do you keep leaving your clothes here? It's not like we do stuff over here. Honestly, I have no idea how all that could have gotten there. I must just forget them when I go over. Are you leaving your clothes here as part of a prank or something? Or is this your way of trying to get me to wash them? I feel like there's more to this. Babe, I am not pranking you. Like I said, I probably just leave them there by accident whenever I go over. All right, well, all I'm saying is it's getting kind of weird, honestly. And I'm curious to find out how or why you keep forgetting your things here. Hey, uh, actually, I'm getting another call. I gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, 
We'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, Jack. I'm gonna capture the moments you leave your clothes here. I'm sure people on TikTok will find it funny. Mm -hmm. Alex ends up purchasing a stuffed animal with a hidden camera in it to find out why Jack is leaving his clothes there. Her intentions were to post the funny clips on TikTok. She had no idea what the bear was actually going to capture. Hey honey, how's studying going? It's good, the big test is tomorrow. Oh, wow, really? Well, don't worry, I'm pretty sure you're gonna ace it. Yeah, thanks to Jack I will. He's coming over later, right? To help you study? Yeah, he should be here soon. Good. Can you give him this when he gets here? He must have left it here last week. Oh, that reminds me. I need to go check something. See what you captured. Mom, can you get that? I think it's Jack. Yeah, sure. you guys how could you do that to me honey are you okay no everything is not okay mom alex what has gotten into you more like who's gone into you mom you've been sleeping with my boyfriend alex don't be ridiculous don't lie to me i caught it on camera don't be i know why jack's been mysteriously leaving his clothes here you've been the one taking them off of him alex let's talk about this there's nothing to explain my boyfriend's been sleeping with my mom that's disgusting. Babe, please listen to me. Don't babe me. I am not your babe anymore. It was just a one-time thing. She's the one who made me do it though. This is all her fault. Excuse me? I'm the one that wanted to make it a one-time thing. You're the one who wanted to make it a once a week thing. Yeah, but you're the one who seduced me. And you're the one who liked it and kept coming back for more. Both of you just stop. You guys are both disgusting. You guys were made for each other. Alex, where are you going? Let's talk about this. I'm leaving. I'm packing my things. You both betrayed me. I never want to see either of you ever again. I think you better go. Okay.